Computers are wonderful tools that provide access to the world around you. You can write letters. You can browse the internet. You can send messages via email to people all around the world. You can play games on the computer and also on the internet. The computer can help you balance your budget. The computer allows you to do many different things. First, let's start with the basics. All computer parts that you see or touch are called hardware. The computer monitor, case, keyboard, mouse, and printer are all hardware. Computer programs that tell hardware how to operate are called software. Like a television set. This is where the computer shows its information. The case is a plastic or metal case that has slots, buttons, and lights in the front and holes in the back. This is the most important part of a computer because it holds the unit that controls the computer and stores information. The keyboard is what you use to type on to tell your computer what to do. A remote control communicates with a television similar to how a mouse communicates with a computer. A printer is where the computer writes down information onto paper. Next is the keyboard. Important keys that you will need to know are the Enter, Shift, Escape, Backspace, Delete, and F1. Also remember as you type, don't hold down the key after you push it down. If the key is held down, it will keep sending the computer commands. The enter key is the carry out my orders key. It is the same as telling the computer, okay, run this program. Also, if you are typing a letter, the enter key adds new lines to create new paragraphs. The shift key creates capital letters or types the symbols at the top of the key when pressed at the same time. The delete key erases whatever you select. If you are typing, the delete key will erase the characters to the right of the point. The F1 key is the help key. It will display information about what you are doing. The escape key is the wait, wait, I've changed my mind key. It is like telling the computer to cancel. The backspace key fixes your typing mistakes. It erases characters to the left of the insertion point. For more information, check our Project Endeavor website. Under the resources page, there will be additional documents that will include vocabulary definitions and outlined information about Computer 101. As mentioned earlier, software informs the hardware how to operate. Most PCs run on Windows software programs. You will learn later about Mac computers, and they run mainly on Mac programs. To get you started, turn on your computer and your computer monitor. Make sure that your computer is plugged in securely. The Windows screen will pop up. You may need to log in to your account depending on your settings and depending on if you are using a shared computer. The Windows screen looks like this. Important programs that you will need to know about including the desktop, my documents, my computer, recycle bin, and the start button. The desktop is the large background area of the Windows screen. 
My Documents are an easy go-to place to store files and documents that you create on your computer. My Computer lets you see everything on your computer by showing all your files and folders. The Recycle Bin acts as a garbage can and stores the files that you delete from your computer. If you realize that you need something you put into the Recycle Bin, you can retrieve it as long as you haven't emptied the Recycle Bin. The Start button lets you quickly open your programs and documents. You can also use the Start button to find files and change the settings for Windows. Another important hardware tool that you will use is called the mouse. Remember, the mouse acts like a remote control for the TV. By clicking once on the left mouse button, you can select something, open a menu, move an item on the screen, or press the button toolbar or dialog box. By clicking twice on the left button of the mouse, you can open a file, open a folder, or display. First, we wrote letters by hand, and then we wrote letters by typewriter. Now we can write letters by computer. Here's how to create a Word document. Click, go to the Start menu, click. Go up to Programs, then glide your mouse over to Microsoft Office, then click on Microsoft Word. Begin typing. Because the layout of the computer keyboard is similar to the typewriter, you can press the keys as you would when you were using a typewriter. It is also important to save your work so that it is not lost. You should save as you are working, before you leave the computer, or when you are finished with your work. Click Save. If you've yet to save the file, the computer will ask you for a name. You can name your document. Then click OK. When you are finished working on the document, click on the X in the upper right corner of the screen to close. How to save your file, go to the Microsoft Office button in the upper left corner of the screen. Click Save As. Then go to the Name of File box and type in a descriptive word of your document, i.e. Letter to Mary. Then click Save. If you already saved your document, then you do not need to type in a new file name. While the document is open, all you need to do is click on the disk icon or save and it will quickly save your most recent work.